hello children okay now today we shall begin with a new lesson from your textbook grow your english grow with english on page number 14 so just open your text while i am reading it to you and explaining it to you it is based on the this lesson is based on dhyan chand the famous hockey player okay so it's very interesting just be attentive while i read read it to you and also you to practice reading okay now uh, so let's begin with the lesson all of you did you open your textbooks yeah it's on page number 14 actually i took the easier lessons before and this dhyan chand was left back so i shall explain it to you just pay attention dhyan chand dhyan chand is a name which has been resounding in the ears of every hockey lover of india for ages so who is dhyan chand he is a hockey player before that let me read it to you what are the initial task what you are going to learn from this lesson do you know the names of indian sport persons okay this is the initial task means what you know about sports rather i think you know more about me because you are more on tv with all these cricket stars football players and all right so i am not that good in sports so neither i know much of that but these famous things were like dhyan chand sachin tendulkar all these names i know like dhoni and all but not like as clever as you people so just see here is a task for you write the names of indian sport persons okay now who are the famous indian sport persons few of them are all these cricketers names you can write good football players you can write hockey players and the uh, olympic games those who are playing pt usha that one this one and number of names okay you can take this as a project and you can mention the names right who is your fa uh, favorite indian sport person so a question for you who is your favorite indian sport person okay that also you have to mention now what is hockey because we are studying about dhyan chand who was a hockey player so we want to know what is hockey what type of a game is hockey hockey is a sport in which two teams play against each other by trying to maneuver it, a ball or puck into the opponent's goal using a hockey stick so you might have noticed it like what is a hockey it is a j type stick okay it is a j type stick like how you have the uh, bat so in this way it is there so this with this ball you have to chase the ball you have to move the ball and put it in the opponent's goal who is the opponent the one who is playing against you he is the opponent all this is hockey you have to take that uh, bat type whatever it is then you have to put that ball in the upper hockey stick it is called as hockey stick how you have for cricket you have a bat here you have it as a hockey stick you have to chase the ball and put it in the opponent's goal this is all about hockey read about a prominent indian hockey player dhyan chand so now this lesson is about dhyan chand so let's read and understand the lesson dhyan chand is a name which has been resounding in the ears of every hockey lover of india for ages so this name is very very famous from many years for ages so we have known this person anywhere you might have noticed also the best hockey player dhyan chand so there are dhyan chand award also given to the great uh, hockey players his agility and ability to carry the ball with a stick played a pivotal role in india winning three consecutive olympic gold medals so what his ability is mentioned why it is mentioned because he played a very pivotal role means a very important role in three consecutive years three continuously three olympic gold medals he has won dhyan chand 29th august 1905 3rd december to 1979 it was his birth 29 august 1905 till where was he alive 3rd december 1979 okay was a well known indian field hockey player widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time he is remembered even today for his goal scoring uh, feats and his three olympic 
gold medals in 1928, 1932 and 1936 in the field of hockey during an era when India was dominant in the sport. So when did Dhyan Chand win the gold medals? He won it in 1928, 1932 and 1936. So he is remembered till today because he has won gold medals for India while playing hockey. Known as the wizard for his super ball control. He is known as the wizard. Like how the excellent one, super baller, super bat batsman, how you have. He is known as the wizard for the super ball control. Dhyan Chand played his final international match in 1948, having scored more than 400 goals during his remarkable international career. So he was not only good at national level, but he was great in international level also. Dhyan Chand was born in Allahabad. So let us study about some details about Dhyan Chand. He was born in Allahabad. He was the elder brother of another player, Roop Singh. His father, Sameshwar Dutt Singh, was in the British Indian Army and he played hockey in the army. His father also was a hockey player. Who was he? He was Sameshwar Dutt Singh. Mool Singh and Roop Singh, due to Sameshwar Dutt's numerous army transfers, the family had to move to different cities So, uh, so Dhyan Chand had to discontinue his education after only six years of schooling. So, what happened? His father was getting transferred. Very now and then, in the British government, he was in the British army. So, what happened? He was getting transferred. So, he had to discontinue his learning. Only he had schooling of six years. The family finally settled down in Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh. Okay, where is Jhansi? It is in Uttar Pradesh. You might be knowing of that name, Jhansi. Jhansi Rani Lakshmi Bai. So, Jhansi is one of the freedom fighters. She was from Jhansi. So, we can remember Jhansi, which is in Uttar Pradesh. So, Jhansi's family also settled in Jhansi in Uttar Pradesh. Yen Chand had no serious inclination towards sports. Inclination, love. The towards the uh, love for that particular sports. He did not have it at a younger age. Though he loved wrestling. Other than hockey, what did he love? He, uh, he had interest in wrestling. But that time he was not good, so good in hockey. But see how time changes. Maybe even for you also. When you are at a very younger age, maybe you will not be having interest in some things. But finally, when you come to 8th standard, 9th standard, your drawing develops very well. And boys, you start playing cricket in such a way that you become famous. You start loving that. You make it as a hobby. You start loving that activity. Times change. Right? Same with Dhyan Chand. First, he did not have that much inclination or love towards, uh, what is that? Uh, hockey. Then, he had that time, he had interest in wrestling. He stated that he did not remember playing any hockey worth mentioning before he joined the army. Though he said that he occasionally indulged in casual games in Jhansi with his friends. So what he said, though he did not have much interest in that, later on, slowly, gradually he got involved in that uh, game. Indulged means getting involved, putting his, his involvement in that. Dhyan Chand joined the Indian Army when he was 16 years old. The Hindi word Chand means the moon. As you all know, what is the meaning of Chand? It is moon. Since Dhyan Singh used to practice a lot at night after his duty hours, he invariably used to wait for the moon to come out so that the visibility in the field. During his era, there were no floodlights improved. So what happened when he was playing? I think there was a scene in uh, Dhoni movie also. If you have watched it in MS Dhoni, that as his father will be watering that ground and all, Dhoni used to go and play there. If you have watched that movie, I think that is clear. Same thing with Dhyan Chand. He used to wait for the moon to come so that there would be a bit of brightness and there he could play. Hence, he was called Chand by his fellow players. So, usually he used to play the night. So, he was called as Chand in the, uh, that is coming during the night. Moon is coming during the night or no, like that. His practice sessions at night invariably coincided with the coming out of the moon. Between 1922 and 26, Ch 
are uh, exclusively played army hockey tournaments and regimental games. Chan was ultimately selected for the Indian Army team which was to tour to New Zealand. So what happened finally with his interest in hockey, he was selected for the hockey team, for the Indian Army team and he had to travel to New Zealand. The team won 18 matches. How many te uh, teams uh, uh, it won? In New Zealand, he was supposed to travel and how many uh, teams they won there? Matches, 18 matches they won there. Drew, drew two and lost one and received praise from all the spectators. Who are spectators? The one who are watching the match. Following this, in the test two matches against the New Zealand squad, the team won the first and narrowly lost the second. Returning to India, Chand was immediately promoted to Lance Nayak. So what happened? From there he was qualified and he was promoted to Lance Nayak. After successfully lobbying for reintroducing field hockey in the Olympics, the newly formed Indian Hockey Federation, what is it? IHF. It is the abbreviation, that is the short form for Indian Hockey Federation. It is IHF. Made preparations to send its best possible team for the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics. In 1925, an inter-provincial tournament was organized to select India's national field hockey team. Five teams participated in the inaugural nationals. Inaugural means starting, beginning of the program. United Provinces, UP, Punjab, Bengal, Rajputana and Central Provinces. Chan got permission from the army to play for the United Provinces team. So what happened when everyone came to know that he was a good sportsman? He was selected and he was allowed to play for which team? For the United Provinces team. In the first game of the tournament, Dhyan Chan drew much attention by his clever stick work. His penetrating runs and judicious passes seemed to assure for him a position in the team that was to participate in the Olympic Games. So his games were made so very attractive and so very good that he was selected for the Olympic Games. Encouraged by the success of the tournament, it was decided that it would be held every two years. After two more trial matches between several hopefuls, the Olympic team include Chand as center forward was announced and assembled in Bombay center, half broom Eric Piniger was selected as the captain. So this was the captain who was selected in the Bombay, Bombay team. Who is it? Broom Eric Piniger. Okay. So while I am reading, better be careful, open your text children because these words if you were here, I would have made you write 10 times and uh, get the word done with you. But now you are at home, be very careful, open the textbook, watch the videos again and again. If you are not following anything, you can message me, you can ask me, but please stick up to your studies. Okay, this year you have to do like this only. So there is no scope. So put in hard work, you will, I know you can, you are my kids, right? So when I am so active, then you also should be. So read the, uh, read the text again and again, watch the videos so that we will come to something. Something should enter your head, right? So as I send the question answers, I am sure you will buy at it and you will write and you will finish your test. But that is not enough children. Your reading, your textual understanding, that is very, very important. So please be careful, read the test again and while I am explaining, be very attentive. Okay? When you open this video see that you are stuck up you feel yourself as though you are in the class then you will understand it right okay with a quiet send off the team left for england on 10th march to play 11 matches against local sites as well as at the folkestone festival winning all it was said that the great britain did not send a team in 1928 to amsterdam olympics after their national team was defeated by the indian team at folkestone in all the pre-Olympic matches against local Dutch, German, Belgian teams, the Indian team won by huge margins. So among all these teams, who was the winner? Indian team. They got many, many 
uh, as the margin means they were higher in that particular rate right <coughs> in 1928 uh, amsterdam super summer olympics the indian team was put in the division a table with austria belgium just pay attention children austria belgium denmark and switzerland on 17th may the indian national hockey team made its olympic debut against australia austria olympic debut what is debut debut is first public appearance you might have read this also uh, when a newcomer is there in movies for the best debut award they give it as because for the first time they have appeared publicly that is called as debut please don't say it as debut p is silent over here so you have to say it as debut d e b u though t is there t is silent so first debut however chan scored only one goal on 20th may denmark lost to india 5 by 0 with chan scoring three goals two days later he scored four goals when india defeated switzerland 6 is to uh, 0 in the semi final semi finals means before the final which game is played then after semi finals you will reach the finals the indian team's better players feroz khan ali shaukat and k singh were on the sick list and chand himself was ill so what happened unfortunately chand was also dhyan chand was also ill on that particular day however even with a skeletal side skeletal side means less which was not very good at that time inadequate skeletal means what inadequate less less chances less hopes skeletal side india defeated the host 3 by 0 with singh scoring 2 and the indian team won its country's first olympic gold medal keeper richard allen created a unique record of not conceding a single goal so what was that, what happened in that uh, this it was the first olympic gold medal who was the keeper then he was richard allen chand was the top scorer of the tournament by a large margin so he won by a large margin with many many goals he was he won that he scored 14 goals in five matches a newspaper report about india's triumph said triumph what is triumph triumph is victory vijaya jaya triumph means what victory winning okay now these words you remember children you have to make sentences of your own by these words triumph means what victory winning this is not a game of hockey but magic Dhyan Chand is in fact the magician of hockey. What is he called? He is the magician of hockey. He was a very good player. So that hockey game is very famous and totally related to Dhyan Chand. Hockey means you remember of Dhyan Chand. So he is called as the magician of hockey. Jadugari. Jadu means that person means we remember hockey. Dhyan Chand is in fact the magician of hockey. On returning to India, the team was received by thousands of people at the Bombay Harbour. Dhyanchan played various other matches and performed exceptionally well. Exceptionally well means very very good. Very good in a high this. They won it. On returning to India, the team was received by thousands of people at the Bombay Harbour. So everyone were there to receive when they, uh, when they won that Olympic Games. There were many people. There was a grand welcome. Dhyanchan played various other matches and performed exceptionally well. Dhyanchan breathed his last on 3rd December 1979, leaving a world record and unprecedented fame to his credit. So, Dhyanchan, when did he pass away? He passed on 3rd December 1979 and he left a record that it was no previous example it was unprecedented there was no one as good as him so he made his record in the hockey game of hockey although there seems to be a revival of the hockey sport once again in india it is difficult to say 
whether india will ever be able to produce a hockey wizard like dhyan chand in future may his tribe increase okay so this was the lesson though we had dhyan chand so very famous in hockey but now we cannot say that we mo get one more such successful person in hockey as dhyan chand but still we can expect so you people now as you are the new generation so i don't know in which game you are very much interested but if you are interested in hockey please go for it and maybe you will be the best player in hockey okay this was all about to say in this lesson so it was all about dhyan chand so again read the lesson there are few tick the right correct answers and few meanings are there in your textbook almost i have explained all the meanings so first after writing this put uh, today's date and write dhyan chand as the heading and write all the meanings and understanding the text that is tick the right answers so meanings here are dominant dominant means most important powerful the most powerful person is dominant indulged got involved in an activity indulging in something means getting involved in some activity spectator a person who watches a game or show okay spectators means the one who is seeing that game or a show we are all called as audience what you call it as it is another another name for that is spectators lance nayak a military rank in india and pakistan equivalent to lance corporal assure ensure assure means promising something ensure no i shall come for strength that is assurance okay then you tell that mama you get me this book i assure you that i will get first rank debut first public appearance debut means first when you are openly you are exhibited in the public your first appearance that is called as debut skeletal means inadequate inadequate is very less with less resources triumph is nothing but victory victory andre eno jaya gelodu unprecedented having no previous example unprecedented means there was no example like this before he was the first so he is that meaning is called as unprecedented means having no uh, previous example and here take the correct answers children after a successful tour of new zealand as part of the indian army team dhyan chand was promoted to lance nayak c is the correct option please mark it on 17th may 1928 the indian national hockey team made its olympic debut against austria here also c is the second one also austria is the second option third one between 1922 and 26 dhyan chand played army hockey tournaments and regimental games a is the correct option okay now here are the following question and answers i will write the answers and send it to you and you can write it in your textbook but today after watching the lesson read it write the meanings and write tick the correct answers and in my next session i will teach you with grammar okay have a good day